जयपुर गया कोटा कृपया ध्यान आपको अहमदाबाद दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन वेल द डिफेंडिंग चैंपियंस ऑफ टू अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट आर सी बी वर्सेज चेन्नाईकोर्स हैपनिंग इन चेन्नाई दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट गेम ऑफ द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर सीजन एंड इट हैज कम टू इन एंड विद टू पॉइंट्स to chennai it was rcb who chose to bat first they were at 78 for 5 at one point in time languishing and then a good partnership between anuj rawat and dinesh karthik a 95 run partnership between them took them to some uh, semblance of respectability 173 uh, for 6 uh, but chennai just uh, too good with their batting their impact sub shivam dubey coming in and getting the job done in the end 38 not out of 28 balls but uh, rachin ravindra uh, ajinkya rahane just everybody do doing their job and ensuring that uh, chennai gets to those two points comfortably with eight deliveries and six wickets in hand i'm gorav kapoor you're watching crick buzz live with me harshab hogle and joy bhattacharya uh, since we are talking about defending champions oh. having a good day okay okay let's just get it over with yeah yes. you won it again well done no. chennai super kings won who's the other <laughs> Oh, go on, go on. I'll, I'll let you take a minute. <laughs> Up to sir, social media also has seen Asha, your. Asha, the longer he stretch it out, the longer the show will be. Let's just say thank you, well done, congratulations, and finish it off. But but you can't defend something you didn't have. Today's the first game. Yeah, so He's... I won the first <laughs> innings. So now I was defending that title, and I won the guessing game in the, the second innings as well. Title, if you have to among three people explain what happened, it's not title's not worth winning. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. In fact, people. I mean, you had to conjure up an overthrow to win. That's not worth winning. I had to conjure up an <laughs> overthrow. Of a, <laughs> sir, remember, you are the one who has the jinx powers, not me. <laughs> I can't <laughs> make anything number, happen. The number of people who assign that power to me, I must be the most powerful human being on the <laughs> yeah, planet. Yeah, yeah. Well, you are amongst us three. <laughs> for definitely, sure definitely right so we can only speak about ourselves but let's speak right now about uh, the two teams that played today chennai of course out playing uh, bangalore uh, but let's let's talk about i'm just i want to bring your attention to this to the last 7 8 overs that have been bowled because what you had told me in the curtain raiser was that this year the rule has changed and there's going to be two bouncers per over i didn't know it was six bouncers per over <laughs> that were allowed because that's what it seemed like didn't it I think they went for the short ball as a tactic, and they said that you know with Shivam Dubey and all, not to give him length at all. And I think there are two, three things they did, but I, they probably had the right idea. They didn't execute well. I mean, there was another great example of this: Mang Dagger, two overs. I think he bowled beautifully, and then the moment the two left-hand batsmen came in, or rather, moment Shivam Dubey came in, you know, Jadeja had still not come in. They just stopped him because they said that you know Shivam Dubey is going to massacre him. So I mean yeah. I'm not quite sure that that's, it works exactly that way. That's so defensive. We spoke about this in the combox Arsha. We said Shivam Dubey's come, Mang Dagger's bowled two overs, the bright spot of the first uh, half of uh, the Bangalore bowling. And sure enough, he, they they take him off, they don't bring him back on. Chennai still wins. Shivam Dubey still gets his runs. You know initially I thought it was it was a good tactic saying right Shivam Dubey's come in let's pepper him with the with the short ball. but shivam dubey's right foot hasn't come into play in this game at all mm -hmm. he didn't field and when he came out to bat he never needed to stretch his right foot yeah. because every single ball that could foot. be ready here yeah. they did not bowl a full ball to him yeah is there no other way of getting a batter out it seemed a very a very strange tactic in that do you like sweets okay here's more here's more and the only thing they feed you is sweets yeah So they thought, how do you get Shivam to be out? You bowl a bounce at him. Yeah, he missed time his first six shots, but they never bowled another ball to him. Mm -hmm. So he's got one, took one four over third man. He's got one over there. He's played one lap shot. Eventually, he's not out. Who's laughing? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And I find this more and more that the off spinner cannot bowl to the right hand and the left arm spinner cannot bowl to the left hander. Yeah. But they haven't made a reputation and come to play for RCB and CSK only bowling to left handers or right handers. Yeah. it's it's a good question right it's a good point you always think that 
are you going to back the player who's having a good day or are you going to get defensive and say, no, there's a better player that's come? These are gambles. They can work. But of course, when you, when you sit outside, you do question because Mayang Dagar was the only one who was actually in the first 10 and was looking like uh, he had the lay of the land or he had the run of play. He was turning the ball. He was... Yeah. The, the batsmen were not reaching him. They were, you know, they were coming down the track. He was getting it short. He was bowling beautifully. And to just stop that, throw in one over. See, by the time, the, after the 15th over is done, then you, you can't bring him back anymore. Spinners, they're now more difficult. And especially finger spinners are going to be difficult. But you had opportunities out there. And I think whether it's execution or whether it's, uh, it's that they get game plan that you're sticking to it, okay. Bowling short balls, as Harsha is saying, you don't need to bowl six. You yeah. can bowl one to make him honest and make sure that he doesn't just rock back on the back foot. Yeah. And I think that's what we saw, a little bit of lack of imagination that, okay, bowl short, every ball has to be short. And I don't think that works. Yeah, Rituraj Rai, uh, Gaikwad, of course, his first game as captain, uh, as taking over this season, of course, from MS Dhoni. And uh, he got uh, the team off to a blistering start. Was the first, first ball bounce. First ball hit a four. But and, they, then, and then the young man. I love watching that young man play. Rachin Ravindra. Ravindra. I love yeah. watching. We just, we just have to say though, of the first runs he has got in his IPL career is a French cut. Not the most yes, slowly yes. shot. <laughs> True that. True. But it just True. shows you, when you get a four of the first ball you play with a French cut, you know it's your day. It's your day. And you know, it's, it's, it's amazing how these little, on these little things, games can turn. Yeah. That little French cut might have nicked leg stump. Suddenly his out first ball he's played in the IPL. Yeah. Your Chennai are on the back foot. Ruturaj, after that first boundary, has only got 15 of 15. Yeah. Ajinkya Rahane is coming in. He's played, he's played well. 27 of 19 is a good contribution there. But he's come after a wretched Ranji Trophy season. Oops, can we nick him off? And the game starts to look very different. Yeah. Instead, Rachin Ravid, oh, he played some lovely shots after that. Man. Yeah. Though, though I have to tell you, the tactic of when Shivam Dubey came, Bangalore's tactic or RCB's tactic of uh, putting in a quicker hit the deck bowler, bowling a short ball and getting a wicket worked. But they got Darren Mitchell out. They got the other guy out. It did work. And actually, at that point in time, you'd say getting Darren Mitchell at that point in time, Joy, uh, was perhaps better returns. Yeah, at, though at that point, it was a high point. That is possibly the closest place in the match where the match looked most even in the second innings. Yes. Yeah. When Mitchell got out and you said, okay, now there's a bit of uncertainty what's going to happen. If there's a one more wicket, you know, Samir Rizvi comes in, Dhoni's not played international cricket for a long time, anything can happen. But these two then go there and they don't have to do anything but sit on their back foot and wait for the short ball. Hmm. And therefore, they stabilised. I mean, they, they miss it a few, but fine, you will stabilise. Yeah. Because it's the same diet you're giving me all the time. I know where that ball is going to come. Hmm. Do you know, even if you look at Mitchell, when, he, when Mitchell plays for New Zealand, he doesn't go boom, boom from the first ball. But today, every single player, Rahane hits, hits a, he's a gorgeous six over long off. Mitchell comes in, he hits two sixes over long on. Yeah. The entire team was on go, go, go mode, mm. which is what we saw last year yeah. with CSK. And they've adapted their game and it looks like that's how they're going to play this year. We're just going to keep going, man. Yeah. And that's how they're using the impacts up well. We're always going to play with eight batters. So, might as well keep going. If three come off, we win the game. Four win, come off, we win the game. Yeah, fair so, point. And today, they were never... It, I mean, it, of course, went right till the end and there was only eight deliveries left. But even with that asking rate being close to nine, right... They didn't ever seem any trouble no, because they always had that release shot coming, right? Yeah, that release shot. Secondly, that, that 37 odd, 38 odd or 15 that Ravindra gave them up front, I think that was the difference maker because that score at 230, 240 just put them so much, so far ahead. Remember one thing, uh, Bangalore's innings went the other way. Mm. Like this, they had a very slow start and they got 84 odd in the last six. Yeah. So, for most of their chase, Chennai were 30, 35 ahead of the asking about yeah. of the same time, yeah. It was a good power play, of course. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's 62 written over Yeah, I thought it was 61. I was quite sure that it was 61. You probably just fixed another overthrow. No, that's right. That's what I did. Right? <laughs> that's what I did. I just want to say you're souring my victory parade. <laughs> just have you say. With being a naysayer. I don't like. Put a bit of but I guess I'm a, a, I am a two-time winner today. So, you know. <laughs> two-time. I mean, depend Depending <laughs> champion, two-time. He's sounding like Mohamed Ali. At, let's take a look at that scoreboard again. Let's move. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look at that scoreboard again. There's something very interesting in the way Chennai have gone about scoring these runs. Yeah. They've played 112 deliveries. Mm. The longest innings is 28 balls. Yep. The top score is 37. 
You don't need one player making 75-80. That's why I keep going on and on about this orange cap not being the best criterion. Mm. Look at that. The leading run score is 37. This is a perfect ensemble cast that I keep talking about in yep. T20 cricket. Yep. Everybody comes in and keeps going, keeps going. Eventually, you won with eight balls left. It's yeah. a big win in T20 cricket when you win with eight balls left. And everybody's contributed. No one's hogged the strike. You just keep going. That's how you play it. There is a saying for this kind of uh, an innings. There's a saying we have in the Hindi show. I don't know if you know it. It's kaddu katega, sab me batega. <laughs> right? That's, uh, and that's, sab me batna chahiye. Yeah, bilkul. And that's exactly, this is quite a... So when you are able to template. play like this, say Rahan is 27 of 19, Mitchell is 18 of 14, it's okay. Mm. Because you went in and played a certain way and took the game forward. Yeah. This is something DK keeps talking about, you know. If you've got 10 balls, if you've played 6 balls, have you taken the game forward? Yeah. If you've only got eight, ga 8 balls, have you taken the game forward? Yeah. So that's exactly what they did today. Every batter came in and took the game forward. Yeah, and I have to say that uh, when we're talking about DK, in case you missed the first innings, uh, Dinesh Karthik and Anuj Rawat, they were absolutely Fantastic. spectacular today. They got a 95-run partnership, 50-odd balls. Uh, so the strike rate was there. And that too, when their team was in trouble, they were 78 for 5. Because, uh, of course, they've got a brilliant batting, but today was not their day. And one after the other, uh, the big batters all fell. It, it looked like they'll wrap up early, uh, but there was a good partnership there. So I think I think RCB will take uh, will take a lot of good from this game because they are looking at that 78 for five and saying this is not going to happen every day, right? Yeah, exactly. And what is so important for them? I think what is most important for them is the guys who perform today are not the guys that they expected to perform. Yeah. So if if for example a good start you're getting runs from DK. Runs from uh, Anuj wow. Rawat and you're getting bowling from Mayank Dagar. Those are three things that you probably didn't count on before the start of the season. Brilliant, yeah. So, if now the other guys return to their normal form, if yeah. Virat gives you what he normally gives, Faf gives you, of course, Faf gave you something today, Maxi comes in and Elzari Joseph bowls, you just have a very strong team because these are not the guys they expected to perform. Yep. So, if these guys are performing and all your top guys are flopping and you still get 173 on the board, it's not bad news for you. Mm, yeah, well, there you go. This is, uh, I'm telling you, this is going to be a good season for RCB. Don't, don't look at today's game. Don't look at the first 10, 12 overs of today's game. Uh, this is going to be a good season for RCB. And for CSK, well, they just, it's, I, I don't know, man. I just never get tired of this no-fuss approach. It's just uh, no fuss. You see them play. Yeah. There's no fuss. Did they break a sweat today? No, they didn't. Can I? You know, can I just tell you something? And, and, and I'm going to point this out because we're going to talk about some cool moments that happened today. And there was one cool moment that really struck me is there was a time when they've gone for whatever, I think in the last five, they've gone for 80, right? When they were, they were bowling. Last six over 83, I think. Yeah, yeah, the last six over 83. They're going for runs. They're bleeding at the time. Right? And there is, inside the circle, behind the wicket, there's Deepak Chahar. There's a catch opportunity. It's fallen a little short of him. He's gotten up. He's laughing. All the other players are smiling. You can tell right there what the atmosphere of the team is. And it always is cool with Chennai. Absolutely. And it, and it breaks everybody else. It breaks everybody else. It, I put you under the pump. Look scared. You know, yeah. get nervous. Look at each other, give angry stares. No, they're cool. Okay, fine. We'll yeah. find a way. We'll find a way. And they got their way. Yeah. See, for me, you know, the coolest moment was that when Fizz, again, Fizz is now supposed to have... So, he's just finished there. So, you know, the way they returned and he came yeah. back and he gave that first spell was absolutely outstanding. Yeah, well, there were a lot of cool moments and we, of course, have compiled them in our carrier room air conditioners coolest moment of the match. That's right. We've compiled your tweets. A lot of you have sent in uh, what you thought was the coolest moment uh, of the match. So let's have a look at some of the, the tweets that have come in. Here you go. Tweets, you still call them tweets or do you call them X's, X's now? <laughs> Don't X's. call them X's. Uh, call them X's. <laughs> Don't some call of our X's, X's have returned. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good news. <laughs> 12 o'clock at night, that's not good news. Ajinkya Rahane, six over long off was the carrier coolest moment of the match. Okay, that's Akash Yadav. We have another one. Mm. Go for it. Rachin Ravinder's catch to dismiss Faf. Okay, that's a good one as well. Uh, That's a yeah, good one. it was. Rahane's presence of mind of passing the ball to Rachin Ravinder to dismiss Kohli is my passing the ball. Thola football type, nah, Arun. Yeah, like, <laughs> but you know, defending champion, you will know. <laughs> you know, I do know. Yes. Uh, so look those are him, there. But look at him. He's so happy. He forgot his next word, which never happens with him. Yeah. He was basking in the glory of being defending That's champion. Right, because when my actions are spoken, I realize my words didn't need to. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> that's, that's good. But the coolest moment of the match for Harsha and Joy, they will tell us 
now. I've got slightly left field coolest moment. Okay. There's a short ball bowled. It's sailing over. And MS Dhoni flies and just <laughs> grabs it down because he's playing on two knees this year. Ah, nice. He, he was on one knee last year. He would never have got there last year. Yep. And he just went there. I mean, it, it was, it, it rivaled what, the, the run out that he got. Remember they'd stolen a single off him before and I thought, oh, do they think the king is aging and the hyenas are coming around? No. But I, I, I just thought the way he got up to that ball, he's 42 years old, nice. but he's got two new knees. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool for me. Mm, okay. Uh, for me also, I mean, it, it has to involve Dhoni as it does, yeah. but it was that Fizz's first over. And that second delivery, the, the wicket of Patedar, you know, the catch, it's just classical and again, another player's career seemed to be seeming to go down, suddenly resurrected because he's in yellow and who's taken the catch, the one and only, I mean. But the one and only, yeah. I think I'd have to agree with Arun because that catch that Rahane uh, and took in the boundary and then threw it to Rachin Ravindra. Clever. I thought that was, uh, was very quite, clever. quite a cool moment as well. Well, that's it. That's our compilation. Our carrier room air conditioner's coolest moment of the match. We all have our own. I'm sure you have your own as well. Uh, but yeah, there was plenty of cool moments in uh, the match today. All right, so that uh, wraps it up for the first game. Two points uh, to CSK and they are off to the races, as they say. Uh, but uh, the RCB team taking away a lot of positives uh, from today for sure. And uh, also, they're, they're big players, they're heavy hitters. I'm sure that they'll be uh, chomping at the bits now, waiting to get onto the field the next time and uh, get some runs uh, on the board and some points on the board for RCB. All right, there's two games happening tomorrow because it's the weekend, so double header weekend. Uh, the first game that is happening tomorrow is going to be played in the brand new stadium of Joyda. I know, it's, it's in Mul Mulanpur, I know. That's what it's called. Punjab, You're right. It's called the Mulanpur Stadium. That's it. That's what we're calling it now. Okay. Uh, Punjab and Delhi are playing there. And of course, the big story is not the new ground, but uh, is the old uh, player, who is the new player now, who's going to be walking onto this new ground. And we're talking about Rishabh Pant, the return of Rishabh. It's, it's just simply the moment of the IPL so far. I know there were lots of moments today. CSK versus RCB, Virat Kohli comes back, Dhoni starts another season, crowd all in yellow in Chennai. It was a huge day in the IPL today. But the fact that this young man, who, as his doctor said, did not have a ligament left in his knees, yeah. that he had to straighten his knee out to be himself to be able to get out of the car in time, that this man whom the doctor said, miracle if you do everything on the field again, is going to come out and play. And yeah. sometimes sport has to step back and let the human take centre stage. Yeah. And the fact that Rishabh Pant will be out on the field is going to be the most beautiful moment of all. And I don't care if he scores, gets out for a duck first ball. The fact that he's going to come out and he's going to play and he's going to be a completely different human being yeah. is just to me the moment. Nothing else matters. Yep, the human story. It's, it's always the human story. It's absolutely amazing. It just... I mean, I just remember reading the reports and then just seeing. I remember the first shock was it was an accident. I, I mean, okay, there's an accident. He's okay. The first picture that I saw of his vehicle and you thought he's not he's not making it right. Just absolutely. I think he's scary. He's, he's lucky to be here. Yeah. yeah. You know, some some people say casually, I've had an ACL, yeah. anterior cruciate ligament tear, and I'm out for so many months. There's there's an anterior cruciate ligament. There's a posterior MCL, ligament. Yeah. There's a some there's one other ligament. MCL. All of them are torn. Yeah. The ankle is gone. The knee is at a different. The leg is at an angle to yeah. the rest of the uh, knee downwards at an ankle. Everything has to be rebuilt. And then he's playing cricket at this level. He's he's not going out to play in the Ghaziabad League. Yeah. He's coming out to play in the IPL as captain of the Delhi Capitals. Mm. And he's been passed by the NCA. He's a few months ahead of schedule. Yep. So, as I said, tomorrow he comes out, he flashes first ball, gets out. I don't care. Mm. That Rishabh Pant is playing tomorrow is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's going to be a big moment uh, for sure. And he's going to be captaining. Let's have uh, a look at the team that he will have with him and what could be the prospective 11. Uh, they, of course, have David Vaughan and Prithi Shaw. When you talk about uh, pedigree, of course, amazing there. Destructive capability is there. Uh, you also have Mitchell Marsh in that team. Remember, Australian captain. There's uh, some there's some good talent there, Joy. There's some good talent out there. Uh, if Rishabh doesn't keep, and I think he might not keep, 
Then the, the interesting one I'm also interested in seeing is uh, Kumar Kushagra, you know. Yeah. Uh, again from Jharkhand, really uh, a lot of teams were interested in him. Delhi finally fought them off. And so if he plays, because they need a wicket keeper if Pant is not keeping. You know, I saw, we saw a bit of Abhishek Porel last year. I liked what I saw of him. Mm. So he was I, there a few games. I think it's excellent. I think Abhishek Purl was there, but after four games, five games, they sort of gave up on him. I have no idea why. Yeah. And then they didn't. They stopped playing him for a while. So there was a bit of confusion. Let's face it. There was a bit of confusion in the Delhi camp last season. I don't know what was going on, but there was a there was a little. You could feel like you, you could not gauge who they were backing, who they weren't. Their batting order going up and down. Uh, Akshar Patel being the best batter, not coming out of battle eight sometimes. It was, see, we just hope that that confusion is not there uh, this season. I think they need uh, somebody in that middle order to come in and own the middle order hmm. and say, bat around me. Hopefully, Rishabh will be that person. Captain, yeah. Because Harry Brook has gone hmm. and I see Tristan Stubbs maybe. Yeah. Coming in and playing that. I don't if know what Stubbs, kind of Stubbs surface. Then he keeps. Then and he Stubbs keeps. can keep. But as I said uh, on our pre show, even if Stubbs doesn't keep, it doesn't matter. He'll save you 10 in the field somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And one of the keepers can come in as, as an impact sub or, or play. Maybe Kushagra bats well, uh, Purel bats well. Because the four overseas players are going to be Warner, Marsh, and then you'll need one more bowler. Maybe, maybe Nokia. Maybe they, they, they play somewhere Nokia, there. For sure. Retained yeah. player. So yeah, one of them there. Yeah. So you, you've got one more overseas player left. Either you can play a Tristan Stubbs or you can play a second overseas fast bowler. But they have options as wicket keepers. If they think, no, I don't want Stubbs, then uh, Rishabh bats at four. But then who bats thereafter? Is anyone good enough to bat five thereafter? Can they get Yash Dool in somewhere? Yes. As, they got so, Akshar. Akshar can bat five or six. Akshar's think, good enough to buy six. I think, I think uh, if Akshar bats six, my only point is that who's batting after him? It mm. dies. Batting's it, over after you that. You just have to have more bat. You need to have... I would want... Somebody of the quality of Aksar to be there till seven. Yeah. Because you cannot have Aksar at six and then all the rest to be bowlers. Yeah. And that, that's going to be their essential issue. Mm -hmm. Who is that other player? Lalit Yadav, they had a lot of belief in. He had one decent season, but last year he seemed to have regressed. If Lalit Yadav can give them a bit of off spin yep. and some batting there at seven, you know, maybe after Aksar also, then that batting order stretches yeah. that little bit more. Mm. But it's still a very dependent on that top three. I think it's it's really till we see how Rishabh is feeling about his yeah. game and all that. It's definitely still it's Prithvi, Warner, show Marsh, Marsh show, yeah. and Prithvi because last year he really didn't have a, he had a terrible season. Everything their problems and their opportunities both lie at the top. There's this fantastic stat which says that if Prithvi plays. For at least five overs, they win some 70-80% of their games. Yeah. Because he just needs to last that long. He's still a destructive player. He's had a decent Ranji Trophy. So Let's have a look at the Punjab team and mm. see who uh, they are bringing. They, of course, send their vice-captain, uh, Jitesh Sharma, for the captain's photograph. But Shikhar Dhawan is still, of course, the captain. And he's going to be captaining tomorrow. And uh, they themselves have, you know, they've got some good foreign players over there. The Indian players are decent as well. Uh, but it looks like, you know, when we were talking at the curtain raiser, that Sam Curran actually may not, may not play. I think it's a powerful top six. Yeah. If Jitesh Sharma can continue with the batting form he showed last year, with uh, with Shikhar, with uh, with Prab Simran. Uh, Prab Simran is there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's right. David Shikhar, Prab Simran, Besto, Livingston. Uh, I I still think Sikandar Raza. I agree. But it also depends on what kind of surface this new stadium is. We don't know if the ball is going to stop, turn, whatever. And Jitesh Sharma, I think, is a very powerful top six. Hmm. But much like with Delhi, I don't know who's going to bat after the top six. Yeah. They've got people who can bat. But I don't think they've got the power. And sometimes, if you as a team yourself don't trust your batting below six, you tend to get conservative with the top six, saying we can't lose wickets. Yeah. You can't play like Chennai played today. Yep. Chennai played today saying, I know we'll lose wickets, but it doesn't matter because we've got ten wickets. Yep. So we'll keep going. I don't know if teams that, that tail off can afford to think like that. So both teams have that issue in my view. Player to watch out for, Delhi and Punjab both. Let's go with Delhi first. Delhi for me, I think, I mean, I can't look beyond Rishabh, obviously. I mean, okay, you're going to go Rishabh. I think as the tournament progresses, we might look for other people. <laughs> but tomorrow's story is, is Rishabh Pant. How does he bat? Can he keep? How is he moving around? Is he his usual chirpy self? Is he able to hit balls everywhere that he wants to? So, tomorrow, there's only one player from all, both sides. But definitely from Delhi, there's only one player to watch tomorrow. Okay, for Punjab? 
Okay, I'm going to left field because you know he had a they Punjab won the finals of the Mustaq Ali, and uh, Arshdeep bowled beautifully there. He okay. likes the two bouncer rule. He thinks he can you know use it, and uh, I like Arshdeep, and I think also Arshdeep will be looking to see that uh, you know he wants to in the first five six matches that he plays book uh, that ticket on that flight to the US. Okay. I'd like to say Shikhar Dhawan, but I've not seen enough of Shikhar Dhawan. I'm going with a player I saw a fair bit of in the test matches. And every time he came into bat, he looked like he was in form. But it looked like he had set himself a 30-run limit. Who's and that was Johnny Bairstow. Yeah. Even in the last innings, he, he, he went after Ashwin. And he was hitting the ball like he was born to hit a ball. Mm. But then the limit came in. Yeah, the speed yeah. governor. Wow, this, that's it, boom. Yeah. That's it. Gentlemen, you've reached the limit. Boom. Okay, I'm going back. Yeah. But those 30s, he was looking good every time. Mm. Now, he plays like that here. He might keep converting those 30s to 40s, 50s with the way the fields are. But he was looking very good in the period that he was batting. So, I'm going slightly left here. I'm saying Johnny Bairstow. Okay, so your player to watch out for, Johnny Johnny. Finish? Come on. Yes, Papa. Ah, there you go. Thank you. He said, don't leave a brother hanging. Don't leave a brother hanging. No, I was waiting to see if there was a joke that would lead to you calling yourself defending champion. So I wanted to hold myself back. <laughs> As you must, in front of the defending champion. <laughs> All right, let's go to uh, the next game. There's two games tomorrow, of course. The action will then move to uh, Kolkata. And here, uh, Hyderabad is uh, visiting them with a new captain. We have new captains on both sides, actually. One well, new captain uh, because he was not there last year. Yeah, right? Yeah. Shreyas was not there. So I saw an amazing stat. Yeah. If you if you judge seniority as the person who was appointed captain first, yeah. among all the captains in the IPL. It's Shreyas. Shreyas Iyer is the senior most captain playing this year's IPL. Of all time. Because he was appointed Delhi. captain in 18, 2018. For Delhi. Oh, Delhi. Shikhar was briefly captain at Sunrisers. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if that was yeah, in the yeah, Champions was... League or if it was in uh, yeah, he in was that year. I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. So, Shreya Sahir is now, from that point of view, the senior most captain. Our child is so big. But there's a, another subplot. Back Cummins goes back to KKR as captain of SRH. And that's right, he yeah. does. He's going to be captaining tomorrow. And for Hyderabad, I think, uh, well, we've been talking about it a lot. And the talking point will be who are there for foreigners. <laughs> right? This I'm point, very interested. This is a talking point among their selection committee as well. Because I'm, I'm guessing. Clearly, they've caused a problem for and, themselves. And fairly so. Because look at that lineup of foreign players. You've got Pat Cummins, of course, who's playing was their captain. They paid decent money for Vaninduha Saranga. Maybe tempted to play him. There's Marco Janssen. Glenn Phillips would walk into any T20 team anywhere in the world. Travis Head, your champion. Klassen would sit on top of that list of Klassen any would. T20 team. That's right. So in Best my book, batter. Cummins has to play. Klassen has to play. Travis Head, purely for what he did on the 19th of November, maybe goes out to open the batting. So who's their fourth overseas player? I think it'll go depending on the surface. If they think it's a slightly slowish, grippy surface, then you might play Hasaranga. If you think there's good bounce on that track, you might go Marco Janssen, who in recent times for South Africa has shown that he can come in and hit a 40 in 20 balls some days. So they might go Janssen or, uh, or Hasaranga, depending on the kind of surface it is. Mm. And uh, on the other side, when you look at uh, the Knight Riders team, well, I mean, they only pick two foreigners. Because two uh, are two compulsory them, blind. Man. Two of them, yeah. For the <laughs> last 10 years, yeah. You How good <laughs> is that Bengali? Uh, can they contest the elections? Have they been around <laughs> long enough? Uh, they uh, look, campaigning, uh, I believe, uh, in their free time. So, <laughs> one of, I mean, uh, KKR players contesting elections is not new. It's not, nothing new about it at all. Oh, you yes, have Yusuf so. Patan contesting yes. this year. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Manoj Tiwari. Manoj Tiwari uh, played. Manoj Tiwari did. He's Night speaking to upstairs and ask him right now. Yeah, yeah. He's in a Hindi studio. Uh, who else? That's ah, it. That's, that's it. It's it. it. a small list. All right. Well, uh, let's have a look like, at that team. Just like you get, you win one and get one tukka, and you say it's, <laughs> it's just two, and you pre it. over it. I so it back two. That's good. Well done. Two is a big number. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at uh, their team and see. Of course, uh, Shreyas Iyer, uh, their captain. They are missing a player, which is uh, in their batting, which is Jason Roy, who pulled out. But uh, yeah, yeah. well, it's been a blessing in he disguise. He was tired the of being they have spoken got... to in Bengali because everyone thought he was. Fair enough, Roy. Dada. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. That's it. I can't hear that anymore. Yeah, he was like... He's just not... He went into the draft for the 100 and didn't get picked in, in the 100 either. No. So, he's only playing Major League Cricket. But... Uh, yeah, well, Phil Salt is the one they've got yeah, uh, one in to place watch of out. him. Yeah. 
you, you second know. highest rated uh, T20 international batter right now. You, you, you play like, him right because they need a wicket keeper. Absolutely, there's no he's Phil Salt plays. Yeah, I just think if it's uh, slowish like we talked about with Hasaranga, slightly slowish, slightly more subcontinent track. Gurbaz might be better equipped to play on that track than Salt, so they might look at that. But to me, the player to watch out for there has to be Amit Stark. Hmm. I'm hearing reports of how the uh, KKR batters went after him in the practice game. Yeah. But it has to be Mitch Stark because so much is riding on him. Hmm. It's, like, it's like his Prime Minister, Chief Minister, President, everything. All our hopes are pinned on this one person. Nine years. It should be huh? unfair to everybody else. Yeah. But so much expectation around Stark, so all eyes will be on him. Yeah. Remember, your next well-known fast bowler that you have, I mean, leave Andre aside because you know how much we'll bowl, is Chetan Sakaria. Or Shivam Mavi or Chetan Sakaria. Shivam no, Mavi. The Shivam Mavi is not there. If you have a look at that list. No, he's not some other. Okay. Yeah. Shivam Mavi no, no, is other. Rajasthan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's where. So you he look at down that list and you'll see Chetan Sakaria is the next bowler. Veva Varora, Harshit Rana, Chetan Sakaria. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's potential there, but it's an inexperienced fast bowling attack. How many games will he play? Mid Stark. Will he play all 14? He has to play all 14. For K if KKR has to do well, he has to play 14. You take that one if he gun plays, fast bowler away. If he away. plays all 14, I will look up to you more than I have looked up at people who will who have won two today. Defending champions? You look yeah. up to me more than you look he up at defending champions? More than defending? Uh, uh, How is that even scientifically possible? Please. <laughs> this is not that. match, I'll be very surprised Mitch Stark is playing 14 okay. games. You heard it here first. 14 tricky. It's tricky. Uh, they, of course, uh, another another question with Knight Riders, and fair question, you'd say, is their opening combination. Because last year, they tried a few, yeah, to, yeah. to Only seven. be fair. Only seven. seven. Yeah? yeah the they two of you could have walked out last year. <laughs> yeah. And it would have been two overs before anyone noticed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a change. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Twelve openers, 14 combinations. Yeah. There were some such. They had uh, plenty of combinations. Who do you think is the best bet? And, of course, we'd all hope that they would back them. Uh, for at least four or five games. Your best bet, we discussed in the curtain raiser as well, for just in case people missed it. I'd go with uh, Salt and uh, Venkatesh Iyer because yeah. Venkatesh Iyer, there's no other place you can really play him. If you play Salt and Venkatesh Iyer, that allows you to give you a certain amount of uh, flexibility in your midfield. In not midfield, middle order. Rather. Yes. I'm getting taken away. With Spoken like a that. true Bengali, yeah. right? <laughs> just like cricketers warm up with football. Bengalis <laughs> bring football into cricket. It's fine. It's allowed. Uh, sir, your uh, player to watch out for for each team. Uh, pick uh, one for Hyderabad and pick you. I guess you picked one for Night Riders, which for is Night Mitchell Riders Stark. Night Riders Stark. Okay. For Hyderabad, the way he's been batting recent times, you could, I mean, there's something very arresting about watching Heinrich Klaassen bat. Yeah. So I'm going Heinrich yeah. Klaassen. For you? I think for Hyderabad, it's really important that Mayank Agarwal hits form. Because if they're Indian batsmen, Rahul Tripathi's been okay. If Mayank Agarwal hits form, Hyderabad could be a very different team. If the Indian, three, four Indian batsmen give them value, they're going to be a very different team. Kolkata, again, I'm going to say that if Venkatesh Ayer does well for them and the opening batting stabilizes, it, uh, Kolkata will be a different outfit. Okay, so basically with these two teams, Hyderabad needs the Indian batters to step up to the plate. Kolkata requires the Indian bowlers to step up to the plate. And it's specifically the pace bowlers because the spin's pretty much uh, taken care of there. All right, we have the joy factor question and answer mm. coming right up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang yeah. uh, on. You, you want to give us the answer since you... you uh, since I'm on a roll today. Yes. Since and since I have to say that, I mean, I've done... Uh, oh, actually, don't bother because Joyce told I you checked. the answer already. <laughs> then I checked with him. I checked if my instinct yeah, yeah. was correct. My instinct was you. it's got something to do with captaincy. Because, oh, again, okay. I was it's not like playing the I game. Cricket's got something to do with the ball. Yeah. <laughs> This, one second. This question <laughs> could have, you know him, this could have something to do with their uh, sun sign. This could have I, something to do with they took the same school bus. Or with him, it's I never know. about <laughs> Or the land holding pattern in their grandparents' house. Exactly. It can be about <laughs> anything. Or uh, where the sun rose from the day they ate their first century. But it was about, about captaincy. And? And they are basically all have captained. A team called the Super Kings. No, it's so, Rituraj is Chennai, FAF of course for Texas and Joburg. And Nitish in the UP Premier League has 
being the captain of the Noida Super Kings. You know, actually, he could have added Joy Bhattacharya to that list because Joy Bhattacharya is captain of Gurgaon Super Kings, seventh floor, <laughs> apartment three. <laughs> Sharing no, no, no. Shibiki Even or? that my son Vivek would say, I'm a captain, I'm a better cricketer. Sir, from class topper and I am graduate, we can ask one trick question right now. Bolo. Sir, there is a Noida Super Kings team over there. What is full form of Noida? New Okra Industrial Development Authority. Oh, oh well yeah. done. That's been perfect. I am very happily giving you, sir. Please, yeah, take no, the crown. No, 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 King, no. you have dropped your crown. Please take it. Please take it. <laughs> no, no, Please. He deserves it. It is his. And for a Mumbai card to answer is like super. Well done. Super. Well done. Mumbai card? Hyderabadi? Both. Somewhere Both. in between. Yeah. Somewhere in between. In Kurduwadi. <laughs> in Kurduwadi. <laughs> where you know Kurduwadi is? I think that where it's somewhere in the middle. Kurduwadi is where when you're taking a train from Hyderabad to Mumbai, they load the... Chai Chan uh, biscuits. Dinner. They load the dinner. <laughs> they, you mean don't okay. you get the dinners? Just yeah. Chai Chan biscuit. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, well, we are giving Chai Chan biscuit <laughs> to the first person who gave us the correct answer. Who is? Who is? Who is? Who is? Harsh Jain. Are from Dream Eleven? I'm glad he's taken off time from work to come and watch us. <laughs> yeah. He's the only winner who will give you a prize. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's going to give us all prizes. And they're all going to be eight figures. Well, uh, congratulations to the other Harsh <laughs> Jain. You know uh, your cricket as well. So, well... Uh, congratulations to you and, and all the uh, best uh, all the best Harsh because if there is any prize if you want to get a prize of God of Kapoor I would recommend that you ask your grandchildren to be part of the litigation <laughs> I just want to say this is coming from the person I just gave my crown to <laughs> think about it sir I just the gave him some where, where, where is the, the gratitude sir? because he's had to shut one room in his house <laughs> lock because it's full of all those little red tables that he you didn't know, give anyone yeah. you know what your grandparents tell you all of you what your grandparents tell you Ghor Kalyuga aage bhai. Kalyuga aage. And, and Ghorna in Marathi means snoring, which is what we are going to be doing <laughs> very soon. Now you have to do this, now you have to sleep, because now you have to sleep with all your arbaan. Kalyuga aage. Chaliye bhai, now we will get you. Why did you start in Hindi? I know. Because it's the next day. Because the next day and you are probably hosting Hindi. That's right, I am. No, no, I mean, I don't know where I am. It is tomorrow, it is the next day. It is already tomorrow, but it's the next day. That's right, so we are going to see you later today. Join us at 3 p.m. on Crick Buzz Live. Remember, there's two games tomorrow, it's the double header. This, of course, was the opening day and that's it. We're all done. Our analysis is finished. Our jokes are finished, our prizes are finished, our trivia is finished, our battery is finished, our food is finished. In fact, the money that they'd given us is finished. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Mr. Harsha Bogle, Mr. Joy Bhattacharya, I am Master God of Kapoor. You were watching Big Buzz Live. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> दिल्ली में आपका स्वागत लखनऊ जंक्शन न्यूज़ आने तक करेंगे हर दिन वर्षी नहीं देखोगे दिल चला पड़ेगा हाइड्रोबाइक को चार एक्सप्रेस बोरोबोसी स्टेशन नेताजी मोबाइल क्या बात है आपके